want you guys to know that blue door right there, that's where it gets lit at. It's the vibe out here, guys. The weather's here, the food is here, and you know the hunger is here too. Hey, out here. Let that thing drip. Wow. What's up guys, your boy Kells. Welcome to 2022 and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're here in Miami because New York is freezing cold right now. So I thought it was a great opportunity to come down to Miami, catch the vibes, wear some t-shirts, some shorts, and get some good food. You know I'm ready? Let's do it. Alright guys, we're here to El Palacio de los Jugos, which is a popular, popular place here in Miami. They serve some of the best homemade Cuban food, they have fresh juices, they have desserts, they have everything you want. Let's go do it. Alright guys, we're inside, there's so much food behind me. I have to go with the Old Faithful. There's the arroz con pollo with the maduros. It's about to be crazy right now. Wait till you guys see it. Let's go get it. Alright guys, we're outside. We're about to go in right now. We got our food. Yo, it looks so bomb. Look at that chicken right there. Mmm. Smells like my mama made this thing, man. Got the rice and beans with the maduros. Look how perfectly we cooked this rice. The flavor is gonna be amazing in this right here. Mm hmm. Just how I remember. The special sauce is in this right here. These beans, bro, changed the game. Mm. Yo, I don't know what they put in the beans. If it's the colandro, odobo, sofrito, bro, it's crazy. So I like to get these separate to put it on the rice. It gives the extra flavor. Mm. It gives the right kind of seasoning to it. It's not overly salty, but it adds that, that cariño, that love, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh, fire. We need to cook with garim and adobo. Mm-hmm. Super sweet. Look how golden brown and crispy that is. Man, they cooked this thing just right. One of the best things about Palacio is when you come here, man, you can expect the food to be tip-top shaped. Some of the best fresh-cooked, home-cooked food around in the area. And it's always super affordable. All this food, man, cost me like $12. Wow, so it has like a little rotisserie kind of taste to it, which is real nice. It's been cooked for a while, so the flavors are marinated into the chicken. Mmm, mmm. This is how you guys start the new year, guys. Eating what you love to eat in warm weather. You know how we do. On a scale of one to five, five being the best I've ever had, one being not so great, we're gonna give the entire meal from Palacio de Hugo, we're gonna give this a 4.65 for sure. The rice and beans, hit so different. The maduros, crazy. Nice and crispy, sweet, flavorful. The chicken, like I said, has a nice little sweet barbecue glaze to it. Are you guys fans of Cuban food? Do you like Cuban food? If you do, you have to come through here. Let's go ahead and wrap this up and head to the next location. That's nice, bro. Thank you, friend. Absolutely, man. Hi, guys. We're here at Coyo Taco, which is one of the most popular places here in Miami. It's a bomb spot. People come to get some tacos, quesadillas, some drinks. They even have a hidden spot in the back where people go to after hours. Let's go in there and see what they got. Let's do it. We're about to order some food up right now. I want you guys to know 
that blue door right there, that's where it gets played at. That's the after hour spot. So if you want to come through, we'll have some drinks after like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. That's the spot they're going to do it. I'm going to go with the quesadilla, the chicken quesadilla. Fire right now, guys. Man, look at these things. Look how golden crisp they look right here. With the cheese, the chicken on the inside. Man, the limon has an extra element to these quesadillas right here. People in the back kicking and having a good time. Yo, it's the vibe out here, guys. The weather's here, the food is here, and you know the hunger is here too. We gotta put a little limon on the joint. Hey, get out here, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the limon, right on the stain. Oh, let that thing drip. Let it marinate for a second. You know what I'm saying? Stop it and do it again. You know what I'm saying? Let that thing marinate for, for your boy. And see what the fuss is about. Wow. Okay. The lemon adds a nice little citrus flavor to it. The chicken is so well seasoned. It's like it's been marinated for a couple days. That's how you know it's really good. The quesadilla, nice and soft. I'm sure this is probably like, I think it's flour. Man. Mmm. Mmm. Koryu Saka has so many options for you. Tacos, burritos, tortas, quesadillas. You can't go wrong with whatever you choose. For me, I like the quesadilla because with the tacos, you only get two, but sometimes I like to go in. I need all four. It's like the Jackson 5, but Michael ain't here. Mm -hmm. Crispy, a little crust on the outside. And I'll tell you how amazing this quesadilla is. You have to come through. Mm. This has to be one of the best quesadillas I've ever had. If I were to rate the quesadillas from Coyo Taco, this is like a 4.85. That's how good these are. I need you guys to stay focused here in 2022. Good food, good friends, good vibes. That's what it's about. Flavor overload here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the brakes on this right here. Let's go to our last spot and see what we can find. I'll see you guys there, you already know. All right guys, we're here at 1-800-LUCKY, which is like an eat, drink type of market here. It's a cool place to come to have a vibe if you wanna come through with friends, or even by yourself. They have a lot of different vendors inside that you can try out, but we're gonna try a taiyaki out today. So if you guys ready to get some dessert with me, let's do it. I'm gonna go with the classic one. Do you have a favorite one? Uh, the cafe con leche is our most popular one. Oh, the cafe con leche? Okay. That sounds pretty good too. It's gonna be 7 dollars Okay. shake cone with vanilla ice cream, Oreo topping, and a chocolate wafer. Wow, it's melting so you gotta eat it really fast. Mmm, oh. the vanilla ice cream is so good. This is probably the messiest thing I'm gonna eat all year long, for sure. Crunchy, little like chocolate flavor on the inside. So many good places to come to. Everything is within walking distance here in one web. So many options for food, for dessert, for anything you guys want, for drinks, hanging out, lounge, win-win is the area to come to, guys. If I were to rate this up, guys, just based off of desserts alone, I guess it's a 4.5. This is really good. Ice cream is like really flavorful. The cake from the fish on the outside is like nice and soft. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up our Miami episode. We came down here, kicked it, had all the good vibes, had some bomb food. We started off at Palacio de Hugo, then we went to Coyo Taco, then we finished up here at 1-800-LUCKY, had the ice cream from Tayaki. I'm so glad to be back. Just keep growing, keep evolving. It'll be a great year for you guys. To our next food adventure, it's your boy Kells. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay dangerous. We out.
We're gonna do a lot more traveling this year. We're gonna hit some cities, we're gonna hit some countries. We're gonna show you a lot of different cuisines. We're gonna connect with people. We're gonna step outside of our comfort zone this year for sure. 2022 is our year. Man, this chicken is bomb. <laughs>